babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know I say this in every single video, but I am so stoked for today's topic and it is the best purchases of 2023. I know I'm a little late on the bandwagon because I feel like everyone filmed and posted this in the first week of January and I know we're kind of like nearing the end but I thought it's better late than never, right? I apologize, I have not posted a video in the past month. I already shared why, like the reason summarized in my community like post on my youtube channel so go ahead and read that if you haven't already for kind of like the recap of what happened long story short i had covid and the holidays got the best of me so <laughs> i apologize i really did not mean to take a one month long break that was not intended at all i'm glad that i am back on the grind and hanging out with you guys again i'm so excited because i have so many amazing video ideas for you guys and i feel like 2024 is going to be our best year yet so like i said i just wanted to make this video to share with you guys all the purchases that come to my mind immediately when i think of 2023 like these are the products that i have cherished so so much that brought me so much joy made my life easier those are the things that i'm going to be talking about today this is definitely not going to be as in-depth as like a monthly favorites video because really this is high level i'm not going to be talking about every single product that i ever enjoyed in 2023 because that video would be like 10 hours long i'm only going to show you guys things that really came to mind when i thought of 2023 i know for sure i'm probably going to think of some other things that i should have included in this video because i just you know have so many favorites but these are truly going to be the standout products that really just come to mind without me thinking too hard on it i have four different categories for you i think i'm gonna start with fashion and then we'll dive into home furniture homeware stuff then go on to lifestyle tech workout like gym gear and then beauty at the end the first subcategory of fashion favorites is going to be shoes and the first pair of shoes that came to my mind when I thought of all the outfits that I wore in 2023, I almost said 2024, is my Vejas. Let me show you what they look like. These are just like the classic Vejas that you see on everyone's feet nowadays, but it is their Campos style with the black accents. They also have like a gold like lettering right here of their name. In terms of sizing, I'm a US 6 and that equates to a European 37, which was a little confusing to me because I have a few other European sized shoes and I typically wear 36, but the 37 fits like perfection. I love the style. I love how the silhouette is kind of in between a chunky shoe and a slim shoe. It's like very much in the middle. So they're super versatile. They go with every single outfit. You can dress your outfits down or up with these. So I feel like these have been my go-to shoes when I really don't want to think too much and they're comfortable. Oh my gosh, I cannot emphasize this enough, but these are so much more comfortable than my Air Force Ones, which I used to love so, so much before I got these. Those used to be my go-tos, but now this is my go-to and my absolute favorite. I can never go back. <laughs> my Air Force Ones now are backups, so sorry, but like these are superior in my opinion i love them so much i will say these are not as comfortable as hokas like i mean hokas are made for running and more vigorous activities standing for a long time but considering that these are more like a fashionable you know aesthetic shoe they are comfortable i have one more pair of shoes to show you guys and their booties like i said i am really trying to only show you guys items that really came to my head when i was thinking 2023 favorites and these have to be it i've been wearing these so so much recently and they are these cute little booties from aloha's they're leather and it is the most high quality uh, luxurious boot ever they have gold hardware i am obsessed with the silhouette of this because i love how long the shaft is like the shaft length and is that what it's called i hope it is and i think the heel height is perfection I think it's about two and a half inches, so it's still comfortable and you're not trying to like do this balancing act, you know? It's very easy to walk in these. The toe is squared, 
squared off. So they're very unique in my closet. I don't have any other boots that look like this. And the calf or like the ankle hole up at the top, it's pretty slim. It makes my legs look really skinny <laughs> and longer too. If I lost them, like I would replace them in a heartbeat. That's how much I love these booties. This is my perfect pair of black boots for the fall and I think also in the spring. Oh, and also they didn't take a long time to break in, which is very important to me because I don't like being in pain for me to enjoy some nice shoes. Let's move on to clothing items. I feel like in 2023, I bought so many new loungewear, better quality athleisure wear, stuff like that to upgrade my wardrobe a little bit because I do work from home, so I wear loungewear like 95% of the time. But I also want them to be cute and comfortable and cozy. And that is my first category in clothing that I've been obsessed with in 2023. And they are just like high quality, luxurious loungewear. Honorable mention goes to Aloe Yoga because Aloe's sweatsuits are just in a different class of its own. Like it is so comfortable and luxurious. The fleece is the most like plushy thing ever, but the styles are chic and you look really put together. I know they're pricey, but I personally think that they are worth the money because I wear them so much. I rotate through them like no one's business. Their colors are also amazing. They have all of their neutrals, but they do fun color drops as well. Like I think every single week or something like that. I have my classic white. I have this one right here, but this is like the cropped one. Like you can see it's a cropped little sweatshirt. So that's a little cute number, but I really love their oversized accolade sweatsuits. They are so aesthetic and you just feel like you're wearing a blanket. It is so, so nice. Another category of clothing that I've been obsessed with last year were body suits. Oh my gosh. I bought way too many. I'm not proud of it, but they have been my go-to for dressing up because they just look so sleek, effortless. And I just wear my bodysuit and then like a pair of jeans, put on some cute accessories, a fancy bag, and I'm good to go. I am obsessed with Skims bodysuits. They're, uh, what is it called? They're a little fits everybody collection perfection. I feel like every time I wear one of their bodysuits, it's a good outfit day, you know? They are so comfortable and super stretchy. They have so many different colors. They have fun color launches as well. They have a snap thong closure, which is my favorite as well because they make going to the bathroom fairly easy and they're very comfortable, seamless. I have a ton of them and in different styles as well because they have a square neck, they have scoop necks, they have spaghetti strap one, they have long long sleeves, short sleeves, like you name it, they have it. The material is just buttery soft and I just think Skims does bodysuits so, so well. And I've tried a lot of different bodysuits. Last sub category within the fashion realm is going to be jewelry. And I just wanted to share two pieces of jewelry that I purchased last year and I have worn every single day since. And that is my Tiffany & Co wire bracelet. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description so you have the exact items, but it is this bracelet right here. It's a pricey little bitch, but <laughs> it is so well worth it in my opinion because it, it is an investment and I never take it off. And they just dress up every single outfit and it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Also, I link all of my daily jewelry in my description box. So if you guys are ever curious about what I'm wearing, like in my ears, on my chest, neck, and arms, you can find it in the description box. But this has to be my one of my favorite jewelry pieces ever and I will never take it off. <laughs> the other piece of jewelry is my Kin Studio nameplate necklace and I'm wearing it right here. It is just so precious. It has my Korean name phonetically spelled. I'm sorry, it has my American name, which is Amy, phonetically spelled in Korean. And I just think it's just super special and I love celebrating my ethnicity um, as a Korean. And I was born in Korea too. So I just love this little piece of jewelry that, you know, brings me back home 
in a, in a, in a way. <laughs> that was everything in the fashion category. Let's move on to the home category. And this is going to include all of my homeware, uh, fun furniture that I bought during Black Friday and stuff like that. So I'm super, super excited. You guys know how much I love home decor and just upgrading stuff in my house. This first item is actually kind of interesting because it's not furniture or anything like that, but I do wear it inside my house every single day. These are my sock slippers from Bombas, Bombas, <laughs> and they've literally changed my lounging, I don't know, home life. It is so, so cozy. They are very soft and super warm for the winter especially. I love how they come in cute different colors. There's just something about fuzzy socks and slippers that make you feel so like cozy and cuddled up. It's like a blanket for your feet and they're such high quality. They have little grippies on the bottom so you don't slip and slide. Quality is amazing and yeah, I love the brand. They are definitely a brand that I discovered this year and I'm so happy that I did. Now let's move on to the actual like furniture homeware stuff. This I've been wanting to try for a really long time and I waited until Black Friday to purchase them because they are super expensive and they are ruggable rugs. I purchased a few smaller pieces to try out their quality first before I invest in like a large one. And I will say, I'm very, very impressed with the quality and I love how you can kind of choose the design and the rug pad so that you can get like a more squishy one for comfort or if you want to get a flatter one for high traffic areas, you can really mix and match and customize like the look and feel of your rugs, which I really like. Obviously, the biggest selling point of these are that you can wash them. I personally have have not tried washing them, so I cannot speak on that yet, but I will definitely keep you guys updated in a later video. They seem really high quality. Just get the tufted ones. I heard some people did not like Ruggable because they got like the regular, like the cheapest one, right? They are really, really flat. They, they are very low pile. They are very sleek. It's not like really of a comfortable rug situation, but the tufted ones are much thicker and just better quality in my opinion. So I would stick with, with those instead. No regrets. I really like them and so far so great. They look amazing in my kitchen. Ugh, so aesthetic. This next purchase has really elevated the look of my couch and <laughs> makes things so homey and well decorated. The brand is called Woven Nook. They are like a pillow insert and cover company. They are amazing. The Oh my gosh, the inserts are so fluffy and they're perfectly choppable, like the pillow, you know, when you chop it and it has that little divot and it does not flatten out. We've had these for about three months and I swear, I like sleep on that pillow. I sit on it. I lay on it in different angles and they are just as fluffy and full as the first time that we got them. They are really, really great quality. I mean, I I love it so much and you can buy all these different designs for their covers and just change out the covers to refresh your look you know on your couch in your living space it was pricey but i got them on sale during black friday and once you buy the inserts you only have to buy the new covers if you want to switch them out i think it just makes your space look so so good this next purchase took a lot of consideration because it is so expensive but it's just a dog crate my dog romper is crate trained he loves his crate he loves going there it's his little uh safe haven sanctuary like a retreat center he sleeps in his crate he's created when we are out of the house so he can't get into trouble but i really wanted a crate that is more aesthetically pleasing and looks more cohesive with our you know our interior design and decor i decided to get him the fable dog crate it is so so pretty it looks better in person than it does on their website i I kid you not, it looks so good. It blends in with the rest of my furniture so effortlessly and seamlessly. The wood 
an acrylic that it's made of. It is so high quality and Romper loves it. It's super spacious. I got him the medium size because I wanted him to have a little bit more space and the bed that you can get in addition to the crate. It is so like squishy. It's supposed to be good for their joints. So yeah, major upgrade for the little Romsky. <laughs> he really enjoys it, but it was, it, it hurt my wallet. Like, let me be real. You do not need this. Your dog does not need this, but if you're a perfectionist like me <laughs> in your home and you want things to just look so nice, yeah, definitely recommend. It literally looks like a piece of expensive furniture. It really does. And on top of it, I am able to like put things on it, my little plants and stuff. So it doubles as like a little table, which is great. The next purchase was to upgrade my remote workspace and Charlie, my husband's remote workspace. We both work remotely uh, from home. So we wanted to upgrade our desks and chairs to something that's more comfortable and just ergonomic so we decided to splurge on the branch furniture and they're actually behind me i have the chair the ergonomic chair and then i have their standing desk and i bought the matching one for charlie it's downstairs his is like the smaller version because he he likes to work in the living room and we only had that little corner to put the desk in so they come in different sizes so i got him the smaller one i have the more like the bigger one behind me for my office because I like to work in like a separate isolated room. I feel like it's kind of worth the hype. The desk is such good quality. It's very sturdy and heavy weight. The feature where it raises and lowers the desk, it's super smooth. I love the look of it. It's very aesthetic. It goes with our home decor and I have the chair as well, which is very comfortable, really well padded. So my butt is on a nice cushion. <laughs> it has lumbar support. You can adjust literally anything and everything about that chair to your liking. So I highly recommend it if you are trying to upgrade your home workspace. It looks great. It feels great and it's practical and functional. So I am a big fan. This purchase is kind of boring, but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. If you guys hand wash any of your dishes at home because they're maybe not dishwasher safe. Maybe you just like need to dry it off like wine glasses or something so that it doesn't leave watermarks. I highly recommend the Dorai home, what is it called? Like the dish drying tray or stone. We got it during Black Friday. We got a lot of home upgrades during Black Friday. This is just such a nice way of drying certain, you know, dishware without using those like drying racks that can be like tiered and then the water from the top falls to the bottom. The water doesn't dry completely so it like grows you know, bacteria and mold and stuff. So if you want a solution for that, look at Dorai. It looks aesthetic as well because it's stone and it dries our dishware perfectly. It's great, I highly recommend. Next category is going to be lifestyle and this will include tech items and any gym slash workout related things. You guys already know, I have to mention my Kindle Oasis. Oh my gosh, this item, has literally changed my life uh, like exponentially. <laughs> Currently, I am reading A Court of Frost and Starlight uh, from the Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass. I don't have like the ad surface, so it shows like the actual book cover. I love it so much. This literally is, I cannot live without my Kindle anymore. I also bought some stickers so that I can decorate my Kindle. It's so, so cute. I bought all of these stickers from Etsy. I just have a clear case over it. I really have to thank the Kindle for getting me back into reading. And I read so much faster on my Kindle than on paperback. I will say nothing will replace my love for actual physical paper books, but but in terms of the reading experience, I prefer e-readers 100% because I'm faster at reading when I read on my Kindle because I can customize like the font size, the font face and type, the temperature of the screen. I love the fact that you can customize like your cover so it's 
more personal to you. It's just such a great experience reading on the Kindle. If you haven't tried it out, oh my gosh, you, you gotta give it a go. It is life-changing, like I said. The Oasis especially, it has this like little lip at the back so it's easier to hold and it's super light traveling is so easy with this oh my gosh seriously i think this is my favorite purchase of 2023 hands down because it's just made my life so enjoyable next favorite tech purchase has got to be my noise canceling headphones and these are from sony i recently got another one from apple because i have a lot of apple products but i use this specifically to connect to my dell laptop for work this is really really great i mean i just think noise canceling headphones in general has got to be my favorite from 2023 but this is the one that i've used the most in 2023 because i just bought the apple ones this year so technically i can't say the apple ones are my favorite purchase from 2023 because i didn't buy them in 2023 but these ones I did and I've used the heck out of them. They truly are such a great investment because whenever I'm in meetings and there's a lot of background noise, I can just turn off transparency mode and I can only hear what's coming out of these headphones. It's great at cutting out distractions. Also when you're on flights, oh, such a game changer. I love these so much more because the headphones that go in my ear, they always fall out. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the shape of my ear holes. I don't know, but they always fall out and it's so annoying. These ones don't do that. I will say the Sony ones, they do hurt my head after a while of wearing them, like for a few hours on top of my head because this right here, it is soft and squishy, but it does lay here and it hurts my head a little bit. I think the Apple ones are a little bit more comfortable up at the top, but regardless, I love these so much. I can never go back to not having these. The noise cancellation and sound quality of these are really great and these are an essential for my meetings for work. The next best purchase is going to be my gym membership. Obviously, I don't have anything to show you guys in front of me, but I actually got a gym membership recently, maybe about four months ago, and I have been diligently working out, you guys. I did not realize that I needed a a different destination to make sure that I work out. I don't think I can be that person who works out at home consistently. I used to be good at it, but now I just kind of want to get out of the house and wear my cute workout outfits. And it's definitely a little bit more motivating for me to go to a gym with a friend to uh, take classes and lift and things like that. So I am loving going to an actual gym to work out now. For that, I have a gym bag that I'm obsessed with and it is by 30 years. Look at this color and it's like one of those like puffy ones. Oh my gosh, I love this bag so, so much. It is so functional, has so many different pockets. I usually put my phone in this outer pocket and I love that it has like a puffy handle with grippies on the inside so it doesn't slip and it has an adjustable like shoulder crossbody strap as well. It's removable. The zipper is super smooth and inside it has a lot of room for everything that I need. So many pockets and oh, I love this bag so, so much. This truly is the perfect size because it's not super big and heavy, but it fits everything that I that I need. It fits my toiletry bag in here. It fits my shoes, a change of clothes. So I love it. So good. And it looks really cute with all of my outfits. Last but not least in this category, I wanted to mention my loop earplugs. Whenever I talk about these, I feel kind of old, but the older I get, the more sensitive I'm becoming to noise and loop earplugs are a game changer. I also wear these to hotels when I'm going to sleep and it's too loud. And I love using these for concerts and studio classes where the music is so blaringly loud where I really feel like I'm going to get 
permanent hearing loss. I just want to be able to protect my ears in those situations and environments. And these are also great for festivals as well. If you get migraines that are triggered from loud noises, this is a great option as well. I feel like a lot of earplugs can look a little bulky and not very flattering, but these ones are so minimal and pretty stylish because they come in different colors and finishes as well, which is very uh, like a fun, customizable thing. I just have the black ones and then I think I bought the switch ones, which are white. I'll put the, some screenshots here because I don't have them with me currently. It's somewhere in my travel bag. Love these, can't go back. I will always wear these now to protect my little ears. Last category to go over is beauty. Of course, we cannot skip this because I love beauty. I'm a makeup artist on the weekends, so so this is very important to me. This one is actually a hair accessory and I love this so much. I'm actually wearing it right now on my head. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is this like really nifty hair clip and it's called Caxi. I have like the large one here and this one holds up all of my hair. And this is the smaller one. I think this is called the medium, this is the large. This is the one that I'm wearing on my head right now to put up half of my hair. I will say, it's a little hard to use at first if you're a beginner. You have to really understand the technique to hold your hair. But once you get the hang of it, it's so, so fast and it really doesn't move. I can work out with this in and my hair stays put. With the bigger one, it holds up all of my hair. It's actually pretty insane. I have so many different colors of these. I can't go back to using regular claw clips anymore. I only use my Caxies. Let's move on to skincare and this, okay, rediscovery. I used these so much when I was younger and I just decided to give them another go when they were having a sale for Black Friday. And now I'm obsessed, I use these twice a week. I use them on Wednesdays and Sundays. I have a schedule. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. And you guys are probably familiar with the, what this looks like if you're into skincare. But basically they are a like peel pad. You use the first pad all over your face, avoiding your eye area. It's supposed to exfoliate your skin with a AHAs and BHAs basically. And then two minutes after you have to use the second pad all over your skin to neutralize it. And it's supposed to be very good for anti-aging and exfoliating and all of that stuff, skin like cell turnover. So I've been really loving these so far. It makes my skin so, so smooth and very glowy. I heard that you can actually use this every single day. I don't do that personally because I like to use a retinol at night. When when I use this, I do not put a retinol on top because that seems very like a little much. But yeah, I use this twice a week and it keeps my skin looking super fresh, glowy, radiant, all that good stuff. That's a great segue to the retinol that I've been loving this year. And it is the Dr. Sam's Flawless Nightly Serum. This is the only retinol that I've ever tried that doesn't irritate my skin. My skin has such a hard time adapting to retinol. I've tried so many of them on the market. I've even tried like uh, prescription tretinoin and that's just like too harsh for me. So I do like to use over the counter, especially because I don't have to get it from a dermatologist. This one I did purge after about two weeks, but about three to four weeks of using this consistently, I was able to get used to it. It does not re uh, irritate my skin anymore. My skin loves it. It doesn't react. I use this every single night except for the nights where I'm using this. I love the fact that now I can actually get on the retinol train and really take care of my skin because I am turning 30 this year in April. So I'm trying to do my best to keep everything very youthful. <laughs> Sticking with skincare, the standout moisturizer that I have from this year is the Joseon, uh, Beauty of Joseon. Dynasty cream and it comes in this jar. I don't like the packaging. It's very bulky and heavy and I don't like jars But it, it's okay. The product inside is golden. This moisturizer is so plush and oh my gosh, it's gel like but it's thick but not 
heavy thick if that makes any sense at all it's super moisturizing so i love this in the winter nights i feel like this is a little bit too heavy to use in the morning but i stick with using this at night and i feel like this really helps with dryness especially after using a retinol which can dry out your skin but this really helps just nourish everything keep everything sealed and moisturized definitely give it a go if you are in the market for a new moisturizer let's move on to makeup only a few things you guys i actually didn't buy this this year so i'm cheating a little bit but i'm wearing this today on my skin right now and it's the did i buy this this year i might have i'm not sure actually i think i bought this during like christmas time last year but oh my gosh so amazing it's the beauty blender bounce skin tint it makes your skin so glowy looks so healthy has really good coverage for a skin tint and it just makes your skin look super radiant and healthy i love it so much it blends like a dream very hydrating if you have very very oily skin probably not the best one for you but for me in the winter months i'm like yes give me all the moisture the next category is going to be cream blush because cream blush has been my go-to my first one that i want to show you is by tower 28 and i love this color it's called power hour and it's their beach please cream blush it looks really scary in the pan but i promise on the cheeks it just looks like the most natural flush ever if you have a darker complexion this would look gorgeous on you the tower 28 blushes are really radiant and dewy so i like this also for no makeup makeup days this other cream blush that i love is by m cosmetics and it, it is the so soft cream blush in the color strawberry and this is like the perfect pink <laughs> like almost cool tone pink that everyone's been obsessed with i'm not sure if you can see that but that color is just so so stinking cute it's like a barbie pink but on the skin it looks very natural i have it on my cheeks today very lightly i did not build it up or anything but this one gives you more of a kind of like a satin soft matte finish i would say so if you want something dewy go for the tower 28 if you want something a little bit longer lasting and that's more of a soft soft satin finish then go for this one wow i feel like i've been filming for hours I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I had such a blast just sharing all of my cool finds in 2023. I think I'm actually going to start doing monthly favorites so that the items are more fresh in my mind, you know? And I can tell you guys like my best and worst purchases of like, or my favorites of every single month. So that is on the docket moving forward. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you.